Well, football fan or not, days like today provide a big boost to our entire community. It's also a huge bump in sales for many businesses. Christina Laurie explains just how much money game days do bring in. While 70,000 fans were cheering on the Badgers inside Camp Randall, some of the biggest celebrations were happening outside. We definitely get a lot more busy on game days compared to a normal Saturday. At long-awaited tailgates, busy bars, restaurants, hotels, and shops across the city. Especially with our new location being even closer to Camp Randall down here. Taylor Carlson co-owns Greenbush Bakery, a game day staple for Badgers past and present. The donut shop moved during the 2019 season, and Taylor is finally reaping the benefits of owning a business less than a block from the stadium. Being like a tradition for a lot of people um, where they start their mornings coming to get some donuts and then going off their tailgate. It's not just food fans are buying. Pre and post game drinks, hotels, parking, all of those things add up and support more than 1,000 jobs. Each individual home game brings in about $16 million for the state. You can kind of feel it snowballing, getting busier and busier. But it's the best kind of busy and another reason to celebrate the return of Big Ten football. It's kind of cool to be part of that. In Madison, Christina Laurie, News 3 Now. Okay, I just got to look at those donuts. I might head to Greenbush right after. As a result, the bigger crowds at Greenbush, they extended their hours to compensate for as many people that came in. I'm sure they're very pleased about that. Well, 